Creating the ideal rush set list is always a fun challenge. There are so many factors that need to be considered. But what if the ideal set list were based on the personal favorites of, say, Geddy Lee? Well, that list is out, thanks to Far Out Magazine. Listen to this episode to learn more about how Geddy Lee's favorite Rush songs would have made a fantastic set list. First off, a special shout out to James Watley and Far Out Magazine for the article that started spinning the wheels for this episode. I was recently reading an article in Far Out about Geddy Lee's favorite Rush songs, 19 in all, and one heck of a set list they would make, a running time just surpassing two hours. The choice and order of the songs all picked by Geddy Lee makes a perfect personal playlist on your music listening device, as well as something we could have imagined as a live gig. While he didn't specifically talk about these songs as a list that could have been assembled for a live gig, I think you'll agree that his favorites could make a great show. So imagine yourself as one of the concert producers, perhaps a content director. Think of a suitably sized venue, ticket price, and length of show, including an intermission, as well as a possible opening act. You've just received a list of Getty's personal favorites, and... You're not about to ignore his choices, since he probably has at least a bit of influence over the check signing process. Would you include them all? What would be your order? Should any of them receive a special treatment, say, through acoustic interpretation, added musicians, and musical accompaniment? Lights go down, band runs to the stage, and the show opens with Finding My Way. Without a pause, next up is 2112. You choose whether to use just Overture and Temples, or the entire suite. Then, why not juxtapose another epic? Or, in this case, an exercise in self-indulgence, La Villa Strangiato. Take a slight pause, engage in some chit-chat, and move into Tom Sawyer. The rest of the list is as follows. Roll the Bones, Working Man, The Garden. I'd be tempted to break things up at this point, possibly with an intermission. Things then resume with Headlong Flight, Far Cry, and YYZ. The list continues with Animate, shifting tempo a bit with The Pass, and complementing this with Mission. The Big Money, followed by Between the Wheels, Subdivisions, and One Little Victory. The list closes off with The Spirit of Radio and Xanadu, which could have been saved for an encore. My personal choice for a venue would be something more intimate, not more than 2,000 people, mainly general admission, standing, with some sections of seating. We Rush fans are, after all, advancing in age, and taking a load off sometimes is a necessity. Again, these selections were simply Getty's favorites, as conveyed in an article published this past December. But I think they also make a great playlist for listening, and certainly would have made one heck of a live show. The order of the 19 songs provided in this episode is actually taken from the article and reference to Getty. I don't know if he crafted that order, but I think you'll agree that there's a natural fluidity from song to song and as a total listening experience. Visit stephenchristiansen.ca for more episodes of Before, Behind, and Between. This podcast is available on all streaming apps and podcast platforms, including Anchor, Spotify, TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. I'm Stephen Christiansen. Thanks for listening. A production of Stephen Christiansen. Podcast complete.